You know the story. A group of mad scientists, world domination, one man sent to save us. This is Ground Zero. It's an adventure game developed and published by Tynesoft. Released in 1986. Apparently there's a specy version as well, but I haven't had the good pleasure to play it. So, let's get started. Strangely, American scientists have planted and hidden a nuclear bomb inside the town of Fogley. Now if I just pick up that key, pause for a minute, we need that for the deposit box that sits away in the bank. And there we have a suicide pill. And just maybe, people playing this game might want to take it. Now that green key will become obvious to you all in a sec. Right, where were we? The bomb has been fitted with a short delay fuse and carefully hidden somewhere in the town. On hearing of this, the government has dispatched a bomb disposal expert to find and defuse the device. The good news is, the town has already been evacuated and so our officer can just run around, go through the shops, houses, steal cakes, freely move around wherever he wants. If we just use that key here, but unfortunately in the knowledge that he's only got 30 minutes left for detonation and devastation. I have to say the graphics don't look bad and everything is well defined and moves quite smoothly. And the music in the background is from Nemesis the Warlock. He does look remarkably like a Numpa Lumpa. But you know, do you ever play a game and it just clicks, you know, just feels right? Well that's completely how I feel about Ground Zero. We both go way back. It's weird in a way, I suppose I shouldn't like it. Maybe I just enjoy my punishment. I should probably talk you through this. In that box, we've used the key and we've got a coded message. And when we try and read the message, it just comes up with a load of gobbledygook. Um, Fogly might as well be set in space. I mean, there's no sound or music. And it's far from the quickest game I've ever played. Now this next bit, I've got to traverse those uh, ladders. Um, and as you'll find out, this place is completely contaminated with radiation. So our little lumpa lumpa regardless of deactivating the bomb or not, is effectively brown bread. So at the top of the screen you've got the percentage of completion, the time left, and then the E is for energy, so you can't run around too much, um, and the R is for the amount of radiation that's sucking into your bones. So this is where we get our first look at the bomb. It looks a complex device, but you can't hang around too much around here because of the uh, the energy that you use climbing up and down the ladders and the radiation. In fact, I've had to speed this up just, like, just so you're not watching it for 15, 20 minutes. But I've spent years trying to rescue a small town I've never even heard of. In fact, I did look it up uh, and surprise, surprise, it doesn't exist. But I did find a place called Fogley Bottom. So now we've got a long walk to the factory. This bit takes forever if on the actual speed of the game, which is 0 to 60 eventually. Research department keep out, and so in our march. Now we need that screwdriver, we can leave the torch there, because it's fully charged from the, with the battery where we found the bomb. Uh, and you'll see why in a bit. And we need to do something with the decoder, the broken decoder, so that we can get the code. So as you can see there, we've got the pliers, to hold the decoder in place and the screwdriver to miraculously mend it. Right, so let's get rid of some of this crap. Uh, the pliers, we'll dump them there and try to decode that message. Happy days, the message is now decoded. So let's see what it's got to say for itself. Now we've got to head back to the factory, which is over to the far right. Um, and pick up the torch and you'll see why. What I've noticed with this game is if you carry items around you burn up a lot of energy so you've just got to literally ditch this crap as soon as possible. Once you've got the use out of it get rid. Unfortunately you can only drop I think it's two or three items on one screen. Don't know why um, so I've had to ditch those over there. So the only thing I've got left now is a decoded message. So on we walk back to the factory I know I said there's a, a ZX Spectrum version, but when I checked Google Images, it didn't look the same. 
So I think this could be an Amstrad exclusive. So here we are, we've got to set that code from the broken message. The code's been accepted and we're off. The Superman music there because literally this guy is going to his death. Yes, yeah, so he defuses the bomb, but what about the radiation poisoning? It's game over for him, I'm afraid. But long live Fogley. So for me, this is Tynesoft's greatest creation. I know big statement when you consider what it's up against, i.e. Super Grand. But you know what? I really like this game, strange or not. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And please subscribe.